early 1980s, I saw a prophetic movie. You all know what a prophecy is, right? Yeah. I saw a prophetic movie that one day I would meet a man called Joe with a big beard, long hair, who happens to love bananas. <laughs> In 2009, that prophecy came true. I was standing in church with a friend of mine who's about my height and he's a little taller than me. His name's Douglas, but not this Douglas. This is a short Doug. The other one's tall Doug. And I told you tall Doug. And all of a sudden, between our heads came this mop of hair. Hello! 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 And all this hair down in his face was coming up. Hello! Hello! And we're like, whoa, dude, who are you? He's like, I'm Joe! <laughs> because the young, well cut young man you see before me over there, he did not used to have short hair, he did not used to be clean shaved, he used to have hair down to about here somewhere, <laughs> and he had a beard that we, we would make Father Christmas jealous. <laughs> oh. Seriously, that was the Joe I met. How did he become Banana Joe? There are many stories to talk about Joe, but the banana stories are coming fast and quick these days. And after 2009, Joe studied Chinese here. He went back to America. Didn't hear from him for a while. We got a postcard for Christmas because I thought he was Father Christmas, you know, with the beard. <laughs> very Christmas. But very good. Festive. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, but, but a couple of years later, I got an email. It's Joe! I'm coming back to Taiwan! On Christmas Day! Yeah, so he came back to, to Taiwan. And we started hanging out in the morning. Friday mornings. For breakfast. Every time we go for breakfast. Cool? Have a banana. Okay. Have a banana. O -o -o okay. Have another banana! Okay! This morning I had breakfast with Joe, and he didn't give me a banana. Oh. I'm very disappointed. I said, where's my banana? He said, you don't want the bananas! <laughs> it's a true story. But you see, Joe loves bananas. I don't know what it is. Like, do I look potassium deficient? <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know. Like, like, you know, potassium is the nutrient that goes inside a banana, right? right. And I don't, like, I, I don't know what potassium deficient people look like, mm. but I don't think I look like that. No. But anyway, Joe will always ask, do you want a banana? Do you want a banana? Do you want a banana? Like, and then, we, then he joined TGIF. And then we started meeting in Dante's. And guess what he would ask me? Do you want a yeah, do you want a banana? Do you want a banana? Do you want a banana? Yeah. Even today, he gave me a banana. <laughs> like we went to Dante's, he gave me, he not only gave that. me. He said you wanted it, so I put Yeah, it well, not only me, but his friend Gary got a banana too. <laughs> Sorry, Iris Lewis, they didn't know you were coming. You would have got bananas as well. So, I recently contacted his mother about this banana story. And his mother said that Joe likes to feed anything that's got a mouth with bananas. <laughs> it's a true story. She, she once went home when Joe was about 16 years old, plus or minus 14 years, okay? Yeah. Plus or minus 14 years. When Joe was about 16 years, plus or minus 14 years, he went, her, his mother went home and she found that VCR was broken. Oh God, she really didn't need that. And she found that the VCR was broken. And she... She took the VCR to the shop, and the guy opened up and said, Yeah, it's bust. Somebody put a banana in front of That's a true story. But he's not a yeah. the VCR with a banana. But you know the thing about Joe and bananas? I don't get. You know, he's the only guy I know. Next slide, please. Next slide. Who would go to his own wedding dressed like a banana. What is seriously? Like, look, he's dressed like a banana at his wedding. Not only that, but he's got his wife to dress like a banana too. <laughs> and his wife came to me and said, Paul, 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 I went out of the suit. I said, okay, just wait, I'll help you. And then he handcuffed her to himself so she couldn't escape the banana suit. Oh. Three years ago, before I went to South Africa to visit, I was sitting in a breakfast shop. And there was Joe offering me a banana. banana. And then the American guy came to me. The American guy sat down and he said, is that your son? <laughs> yeah, well, what? Do you look that old? Do I look potassium deficient? I don't think so. But then I thought about it. You know, what if Joe was my son? Well, number one, I get free bananas. That's a good thing. <laughs> but number two, I would be very proud. Mm. Because when I went to Joe, Mojo, when I first met Joe, 
He was a young boy, a 19-year-old boy coming to Taiwan. Went back to America, got his degree, came back. He learned Chinese. Mm. I saw a boy become a man. Mm. I saw a man become a husband. Mm. And I see this husband become an amazing friend. If we slip back to the next slide, can we go back to the next slide? You see, Banana Joe is carrying somebody under his arms. Mm -hmm. And I cannot tell you how many times Joe has carried me in my life when I meet as a friend. Wow. He's not as big as Bud Spencer, but he still carries me. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that many of you who are members of TGIF, since he's been the VPM, have felt his love. The people who've joined his English club have felt the love that Joe gives everybody in this club. Yeah, and yeah. every single one of his friends. Right, Gary? Shout it out, bro. Yep. <laughs> Joe is an incredible person who, if he were my son, I could only say one thing to my friend. I would be proud to call you my son. Oh. Yeah. Would you like to know that? Don't be shocked! Don't be shocked! Don't be shocked!